first AIDS cases were five gay men diagnosed in Los Angeles in 1981 by a doctor named Michael Gottlieb. And what linked them was that they were all in what was called the fast lane gay lifestyle. They were doing a lot of recreational drugs. They were taking many different drugs at the same time, combining drugs much more than was the pattern for straight drug users. They also partied a lot. They went to bars. They went to clubs. They went to bathhouses. They met a lot of men. They had a lot of anonymous sexual contacts. And as a result, they were exposed to a lot of the classic sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis and gonorrhea. And because they were getting those diseases, they were also frequently going to doctors and getting antibiotic prescriptions to treat those. All of that created a situation where a handful of gay men were burning the candle at both ends and putting a blowtorch to the middle. And it's no wonder that after a while their immune system started to collapse and they started getting sick in these unusual ways that previously had only been seen in older people whose immune systems had deteriorated from age. I remember reading in the Wall Street Journal in 1996 a May 1st front page article. I couldn't believe it. CDC officials were admitting that even as they were saying everyone's at risk for AIDS, they knew that wasn't true, but they also knew that if Americans realized that, they wouldn't support substantial AIDS funding. What the journal didn't report was that this was a strategy that had actually been developed 10 years earlier by volunteers from the public relations industry, people with a lot of PR experience who were also gay, who figured that they could serve their community best by mounting a PR campaign, convincing Americans that everyone was or soon would be at risk for AIDS, so that there would be support for a massive program of government funding for this particular condition uh, far out of line in terms of funding per patient than what's being spent on cancer or heart disease or a lot of other diseases that kill far more people.